today we're going to do a brief overview of the Victor Reader Stream and this product is made by Humanware and the website for that is www.humanware.com this is the Victor Reader Stream and the stream is designed to read a wide variety of uh, text files and audio files one of the reasons that the Victor Reader Stream is so versatile is because it plays such a wide variety of different formats. Most importantly, for people who use the National Library Service Talking Books, it plays the new DAISY format, and many of the National Library Service customers will not be able to get a new Talking Books machine that plays the DAISY format for many more months. Um, so for those people who want to migrate to the new uh, digital format, the Victor Reader Stream is the only way to access that information right now. So we'll just do a brief overview of the Victor Reader Stream. The stream has uh, a rectangular edge at the top and rounded edges at the bottom, so you can immediately get oriented to the, uh, the top and the bottom of the machine. One of the other things that you'll notice right away is that it has a very common telephone dialing pad, which is the center piece of the control, with a small little tactile nib on the five. Um, at the top part, you have two additional buttons. Both are of different shapes. And at the bottom, you have the fast forward, the rewind button, and the play and the pause button. So everything on the control panel has, has got a, a lot of space between it and it's very tactile. The same is true on either side of the stream. You'll see the volume up and volume down, the power on and off are again identified by different um, tactile buttons. And the same is true over on the right. You have a memo record button right here. Back to the files that this accepts. In addition to the DAISY talking book files. The Victor Reader Stream will also accept regular text files, web pages, um, the um, NFB periodicals, all the different newspapers can be put onto the Victor Reader Stream. And it also takes a wide variety of audio files, MP3 and WAV files can be put on this. So in addition to listening to books, you can also put uh, music on. And depending on the size of the SD card that you put in the Victor Reader Stream, you can really have quite a library on this, in addition to just hundreds of uh, songs. And we're just going to turn it on real quick and go through some of the, the functions on the stream. Welcome to Victor Reader. Text files. Disability Society and the Individual F1, XML. One of the really great features of the Victor Reader Stream is for people who are just getting started with the stream, all you have to do is turn it on and press the one button and hold it down and you will immediately get the user's guide. And I'm going to do that now. Enter user guide. User guide. From this point, to play the user guide, all you have to do is push play and pause to, and then you can fast forward or re rewind through the user's guide and begin to get a heads up. Another really great feature for new users is simply by pressing the zero key and holding it down. Key describer on. You get a key describer mode. So by using those two keys, a new user can really get a heads up on how the Victor Reader uh, operates. And with the key describer mode on, I'll just show you briefly how this works. I can click on any key without engaging the menu and just find out what that key does. Bookshelf, one. Scroll up, two. Move forward, six. Now here's a feature a lot of talking books uh, users is really going to like. Sleep. How many times have you fallen asleep with your cassette player on, you have no idea where the book stopped, and then you have to find it. With the sleep mode, you can set it to 15 minutes, a half an hour, 20 minutes, or whatever. The Victor will play for that period of time and then automatically shut itself off. Another really great feature of the Victor Reader Stream is wherever you stop playing on a book, it will automatically remember that 
So the next time you find the book in the bookshelf, it will go right back to the place that you have left off. One of the big features of the Victor bookmark is the bookmark section. And this is something that you oftentimes don't get using a cassette or CD player. With a Victor Reader Stream, you have the ability to put bookmarks in the uh, Daisy Talking Books and many of the other text files that you might use with this. And you can also add a voice memo. So this is perfect for students or professionals. It allows you to set that bookmark, add a memo to alert yourself, and, and go back. And you can actually scroll from bookmark to bookmark uh, to either find your place or find the notes that, that you've been using. I'm going to show you a demonstration of two different um, audio recordings that we have here. The first one is a podcast that was downloaded from the Iris Network website, uh, one of the main airs podcasts. And you'll notice that the podcast is actually in a speaker's voice, and this is because this is an audio file. So I'm going to play a little bit of this main airs podcast for you right now so you can hear the quality. Journey with him. The daunting responsibilities of five children, two of them infants, made her decline. She asked Nicholas if it was really important for him to go. He said yes, and said he'd like to include his brother Micah. After some thought, Micah accepted, and it was then to be a story about brotherhood, if and I the story of their family, and tragedy and joy, and hope and support. One minute, be crawling into the wagon with my sister, while... You'll notice when I push the fast forward button, after I reached a certain period of time, it designated that one minute of the recording had been fast forwarded. As you hold the fast forward or the reverse button down for that matter, uh, the longer you hold it, the more the victor will prompt you for the amount of time that you have fast forwarded through that material. Now I'm going to go to the bookshelf and I'm going to find a Daisy talking book. Please wait. Self-esteem does not need to be any more of a problem for a blind person than for anyone else in society. Many who have struggled with basic self-esteem issues of life have resolved them satisfactorily. Speed. After, after wrestling, wrestling with life's basic questions, Geraldine Lathorn, who is bl blind and also deaf, was able to express a positive outlook on life. When we observe as much as we can see, there is no time for what Again, we cannot see. Attentiveness to all this. we hear leaves no room for what we cannot hear. 1%, 2%, Perhaps the most important consideration in teaching personal management skills is the manner in which the rehabilitation teacher approaches this subject. Because these skills are so personal, they need to be presented with the utmost respect for the client's feelings. Home management skills allow an individual who is visually impaired to maintain a clean and safe living environment. The last feature that I think a lot of people, again, professionals and students will find very helpful, is the memo feature. And it works very much like a, a digital memo recorder. You simply press and hold the memo key down, and you begin your memo. You can also just press the key, and Victor begins uh, recording the memo, and press the memo button a second time, and Victor stops recording. Depending on the size of the SD card, or the storage that you use for the Victor, you can store hours of digital memos on the Victor Reader stream. So it's very handy in that way. Um, the Victor takes four hours to charge. Once it has a charge, it can play continuously for 12 to 14 hours. So it's not something you're going to have to worry about once you have it charged. Again, to, to uh, find out more information about the Victor Reader Stream, if you go to www.humanware.com, you'll find there is a user's guide and also an audible user's guide that people can just download and listen to. The Victor Reader Stream is also available from the IRIS network. You can purchase it right here or by calling us. Thank you.